hi guys welcome back so in today's video i will be showing you how to add a comma at the end of each new line using notepad plus plus so let's get to it so notepad plus plus is one of the uh, code editors that you can use in your development journey and uh, you can also use it as a text editor so in today's video I will be showing you how to edit text using Notepad++ and in particular I will be showing you how to add a comma at the end of each new line. So basically what I'm talking about is say you have a text like this and you want to add a comma at the end of this uh, line like that. So there is a shortcut uh, on how to do this. Uh, that saves you a lot of time uh, so you don't have to go uh, in each new line and uh, do all of this manually okay so I will be showing you that shortcut shortly uh, one use case for me that I've uh, really found to be useful is when um, uh, editing columns uh, when whenever I'm writing my SQL scripts and uh, I'll just show you one example here so this was uh, one of the queries that we ran in one of the previous videos and uh, for this case we just wanted to retrieve the column names from a table so assuming um, I wanted to transfer these columns to a, 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 a another tab here and query them so uh, for example I you know I go ahead I will just go ahead here and copy I'll copy the clipboard and we will put it here in notepad plus plus like so and i'm just going to delete this one because that is not the field name and then what i will do is what i want to uh, i will now come here and 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 select those fields so i will just say select from and uh, i will put those column names here like that so like so okay and now the table that I want to get this one is Chicago Crimes PQ this one um, but now uh, assuming I wanted to um, change these column names so for example you know ID to ID or a case number or date to a different you know basically change all of this uh, one way you could do really is you know without having to do this you can uh, type each uh, field name after you populate the table here and it is going to bring it for you it's going to locate it um, but sometimes you just want to do it quickly and 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 be done with it so um, you can use uh, notepad plus plus once you have the column names to add comma at the end of each new line and, and you can see here for example if you do that like the way it is right here if you wanted to query this uh, at, the, at the end of each new line here you'll have to do comma otherwise your query is not going to run right and you'll have to do it for all of this uh, I know there are some other uh, shortcuts like if you press alt and then just keep doing that uh, you can do that and that is also one of the uh, very useful uh, shortcut that you can use but notepad plus plus also can make your life very very easy so now assuming I wanted to run this query here and I wanted uh, to have all of the commas be added at the end here how do you do that in notepad plus plus so what you want to do is once you have your uh, records here uh, and you want to add comma at the end uh, the shortcut for that in notepad plus is um, you want to go to uh, I think it's view is it view or search it's search so search replace or you can also press uh, a control H so I think if you're using Windows you click uh, control and H at the same time uh, so let me close this control and H at the same time it's going to pop up this window uh, but you can also just go up here and do search and go to replace and you will see I think by default it uh, no I think it's going to replace if you do replace uh, from from here 
and then what you want to do now is uh, what you want to find is just dollar sign and what um, you want to replace with is uh, a comma so what it's going to do is it's going to go through all of these records you don't have to highlight it but you can still highlight if you just want uh, for specific uh, selection uh, but for me I just want for everything so I think it should work if you don't select uh, but yeah what you want to find is dollar sign and replace with comma and then down here the search mode is regular expression and what you want to do here is just to replace all okay look at that so you just click replace all and it is going to append comma at the end of each line like so so you can basically take this now and go back here and you can see if we had to run this one it's going to complain obviously because uh, sql you have to put comma at the end of any now new line so i'm now going I'm, I'm going to do this now uh like so all right and now i believe we should be able to run this uh, successfully without an issue okay so it ran fine in some other programming uh, languages or uh, other databases uh, it's not going to allow you to do this comma at the end uh, so uh, but bigquery allows that so you can just remove that comma and and still run it so you can see that was that was really quick shortcut uh, and it saves you a lot of time when you're doing your development uh, once you know some of the shortcuts because sometimes having to manually add um, uh, some of these things or manually to do some of these things is going to take you a long time and you'll be frustrated um, so this is uh, what I wanted to show you and you can do a lot of things it doesn't have to be a comma you can even do colon and uh, it's it should be able to work so for example if we had to do colon so you just do the same and uh, uh, do comma and just replace all sorry we had we wanted to do colon not comma we already did comma so like this so it should work can you see um yeah so this is pretty neat you can also use it to append uh to append values at the end if you wanted so i don't know uh let's say uh if you wanted to append something like this uh this is going to append at the end of each new line uh like so all right so this is a pretty neat uh, shortcut to edit your texts in notepad plus plus so um if you are looking for something like this i hope this video was useful um again if you have not subscribed to the channel please uh, take a second and do subscribe to this channel um so that you can stay updated uh, it's also one of the ways that you can support the channel uh so that we can grow and reach out to wider audience